Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our chest and our tricep muscles. Going to be a good push day. I'm going to start with the greatest stretch. Five repetitions on each side followed by a deep squat. Wherein we sit in a deep squat for at least few seconds. Ideally minutes would be good but few seconds also will do the job. Now if you want you can do any other preferred Dynamic stretching, for me this one is always good to go. Good amount of compound stretching. Make sure your entire body, top to down, from ankle mobility to shoulder and neck mobility, everything is checked in. So, great way to start a workout. Now, deep squat, you can do it any time in the day, whenever you prefer to do so. But I prefer to do it just before my workout, regardless which body part I'm working on. Now, post completing the great sorry the greatest stretch and the deep squat we move on to our first exercise wherein we perform at least two warm -up sets basically inclined bench press so first two sets are going to be warm up wherein we are going to figure out the right weight try to go slow and steady let the blood flowing let our joints do their jobs in terms of going to the full range of motion get feel that stretch again very much required to make sure we have or we do start our exercise in the right way and once we are done we start the first set with the heaviest weight possible to get 10 repetitions in a cool and controlled manner always remember we are never going to the repetitions quickly we are trying to control the repetitions feel the stretch and then push up all the way to get maximum amount of contraction and for the next two sets i chose a weight where i could achieve 20 repetitions now that would be challenging because the first set you must have pushed really hard to lift a heavy weight for 10 repetitions. So next two 2020s should feel extremely challenging. So take a break up to 45 to 60 seconds in between these sets. Remember, go deep, feel the stretch, go up all the way, feel the contraction, full range of motion. Keep your chest high up and keep breathing. Don't forget that. Post completing those, I moved on to flat chest press equipment which i have in my gym if you don't have this you can do it on a regular dumbbells with a flat bench or regular flat bench press with a barbell but since this is equipment there is available and i kind of figured out the best posture for me to get maximum amount of contraction i am going to include this a lot more in my workout since it's available to me and as you can see holding it in this manner a little bit closer elbows tucked in neutral grip was giving me absolutely great amount of contractions and you can see how my chest does the adduction quite well as my arms move forward. I am cueing myself while pushing the weight that I am trying to squeeze my chest together with my biceps. Not possible because my arms are still going away but at least that's what I am cueing. So I am able to achieve the maximum amount of contraction in my chest muscles and I think this point of view gives you a great example of what you should be focusing on in terms of your chest adductions post completing these we do 20 repetitions each set by the way and the break could be 45 to 60 seconds depending upon how exhausted you are from the previous incline bench press once we are done with these we move on to our tricep work again the staple exercise barbell tricep extensions three sets 20 repetitions taking the barbell all the way behind your head feeling that great amount of stretch in your lat and your triceps and you can clearly see how stretched out my lat muscles and my tricep muscles are all the way and from there you start pushing the barbell up never bringing the barbell in front of your eyes now my preferred barbell is the easy easy bar now you can do it also on the straight bar but easy bar kind of puts my arm in a little bit more comfortable position so my focus is a lot more on my tricep muscles but you can always do it with a straight bar and if you don't have any of them you can also do it with a couple of dumbbells there's no harm holding the dumbbells in a neutral grip and you can still go ahead and do it but yeah easy bar does the trick so i prefer to do that i also prefer to keep the bench on one level increment increase that's it just one increment increase of incline a complete flat feels a little bit uh, kind of boring to me so i prefer to keep it one level increase so it gives me a little bit more better stretch and yeah great way to start our tricep work post completing these we move on to chest flies now for the chest flies uh, we are doing one of the methods which 
we have done previously also by leaning back as far behind as possible resting our back on the top edge of the back support and then pressing basically focusing more on the lower chest while pressing or doing the adduction and you can see the maximum amount of adduction i'm able to achieve at this angle let me slightly shift the camera onto the side so you can see it more better about how i position myself and you can see here i'm not actually even sitting down on the machine i'm just resting my back and i rest my back in such a way that it's not hurting me i'm comfortably taking the support of the back cushion and from there i'm pushing basically pulling the rods forward creating that adduction moment always keeping my chest high up as much as possible to make sure the chest is doing the majority of the work front delts will be involved you can't help it that's the human anatomy so just keep going about it post completing those we move on to our next exercise which is cable push downs single arm now the reason i'm going single arm is that because i kind of figured out that i'm able to achieve a lot more range of motion by doing it single arm because the rope attachment which is available in the gym is kind of short so every time i have to sh stop halfway through or lean down a little bit more with single arm i can simply push my elbows as far behind as possible and get that full range of motion as you can see now here we do 20 repetitions again each set while switching from one arm to the other we don't take a break we take a break once we are done with both our arms so we can take a break of about 30 seconds even 45 you require 30 seconds should be more than enough so once done we can again restart with the same arm we started with now try to make sure the cable is always under tension the weight is never resting so you know stop just parallel to the floor and you can see here clearly from the front I just stop near parallel to the floor and from there i push all the way down and always try to keep your elbow slightly behind your midline of your body to get the maximum amount of contraction in your triceps because in that position your triceps are maximum uh, or they're shortened to the maximum level you can also choose to do it with a rope attachment okay don't have to do a single arm but single arm is what i prefer to do and for the last exercise we are going to finish off with a close grip press on the smith machine three sets as many repetitions as possible in an explosive manner but full range of motion since it's a smith machine i was able to go explosive because i know the bar is not going to slip away or going to you know fall or something and it's always the same path which it's going to take so set yourself right and then just keep pushing make sure your triceps are doing the majority of the work yes chest will be involved but yes we are focusing on the close grip press so tricep will do the majority of extension work remember three sets as many repetitions as possible with 45 to 60 seconds break in between and that should be sufficient and that's it we are done with our workouts we are going to finish off with a good static stretch by holding a couple of dumbbells in a fly position on a flat bench thank you so much for watching if you did like the workout and it did, you did enjoy it working along please do drop a like and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe any feedback in the comment section is greatly appreciated now make sure you do the static stretching part never miss out on it regardless which body part you're working on and you may also add in a few minutes of cardio that's totally up to you as much as time permits so yeah that's about it we are done i'll see you in the next video till then have a great day and i hope you had a great workout with a good amount of pump Thank you for watching once again.